Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be looking at the invasive lantana. So the invasive lantana looks like this, it is a shrub and it grows up to a certain height. So they have these tricolored flowers, so it comes in pink, orange and yellow. So these lantanas bear fruits. Generally the lantanas that I have, this is out of experience, I, the garden variety lanternas do not produce these berries. So I, the berries that I've seen in this plant is quite unique. I've only seen it in these invasive varieties because I have my lanternas not bearing these fruits. So the birds love these fruits, these black fruits. They are like berries, they are like mulberries almost. So the birds also help in dispersing the seeds. The butterflies obviously love uh, these flowers, so they help in the pollination of these flowers. The other important thing about the lantana is that this lantana variety is very poisonous for the grazing animals. So the grazing animals don't really like eating this plant. So what happens is this plant invades the entire forest and it does not allow the other plants to survive. So the Grazing animals find it very difficult to find food. So that is how grave the situation in the forests of India is. But if you live in a non-tropical area which is affected by frost, then you can definitely grow this as an annual. So this is how the plant will look in its early stage. It will look all fresh and green and not non-leggy. So let's move on to the fruits and how they look like. So first you have these green pods that come up and after which it ripens and becomes uh, almost like a mulberry. So I see some of the nursery guys actually taking cuttings of these plants and growing it and selling it to unsuspecting customers so as customers you need to be aware of it and this is an awareness video because even the nursery guys do not know about this plant and why it is invasive and they really don't care so you as a responsible gardener need to be aware of such plants that are not good for the ecosystem especially in tropical areas so let's see another invasive variety since i am strolling around in this lake so this is the water hyacinth that you see this is actually a lake but it is covered by water hyacinth water hyacinth is another invasive variety i've seen in a lot of london uh, gardening videos where they actually grow water hyacinth here it is an invasive species and it comes in lakes where they have depleting oxygen so polluted lakes actually have these water hyacinths This is not an invasive species, so I just happened to see this Dunga Virgia grandiflora. This is a beautiful vining plant and it costs a bomb in the nurseries. But here I think someone from the other side of the fence has grown it. It is not in the lake area per se, but it is grown really well. It is climbed on trees and stuff like that. This is not invasive, but it is a very vigorous plant. So this is how the flowers of the Tunga Burgia looks like. Thank you folks and if you like this video then please subscribe to Urbanscape Bangalore and keep watching my videos. Thank you.